this is definitely a photo that needs sprucing up. Obviously, pretty gray. The day was gray. And so I've loaded up the sky to put behind here. But before I do that, obviously, I want to bring out some color. So the first thing we do is we usually do is hit the Control J and work on layer one and just close off the first layer. So we're going to be working on layer one here. Now, as I said before, rather than going and doing all sorts of enhancing and so forth, what I want to do is to go, remember this for layer one. I'm going to go to quick. I'm going to color right here. And this is what's the, the current photo. I'm going to move it up a bit. You can see the difference in color. But if I move it right to here, that's just about where it should be. So I click on that and go back to expert mode. And a lot of the work for, has been done for it. Tons of work, as a matter of fact. Because this is just about the color of the bricks had it been on a sunny day. So now what I want to do is to go to the magic wand tool and make sure that the tolerance is way down to about, say, 8 or 9 or whatever it is, and just click on it. And there you can see that it's selected all of the sky. And so at that point, all I have to do is to go edit and say delete. And so I go to the photo bin. I just move this sky right up into here. And while I'm still on layer one, let's go back to layer one. And, and, and now we can move the sky. So go to move, go to the sky layer, and just move the sky up. And you can see these little handles here. So I'm just going to move this over. And this little handle over here, right there. And now, for example, you could move, move that sky up and down and so on and so forth. As a matter of fact, if you wanted to, you could make it thicker and move it up or, or whatever. Okay. So that's, let's say that's our new sky. And you notice that it's covered everything. And we say, okay. So now what we're doing is we have these two that we're working on. We have an option here of just saying, now let's, with the shift key, go up to here and say, merge visible. And now you can see that now we're just working on one layer again. The sky and the village are, are now one. So now what do we want to do? There are things that I would like to see done to bring out even more of the color. One of the things I'd like to do is to select these roofs here and put a little bit more color into it. Now I'm just talking about a little red or whatever. Here, this is the quick selection tool. And let's select right here that roof, this roof. This one right here, this right there, and right there. Now, notice that we've over-selected some of these areas. And oh, by the way, here's another little roof here. Good. Now, notice that there's an over-selection in some of these areas. So all I'm going to do here is go to the Alt key and just take away some of the over selections. I'm over selected here, the over selected here. There's an over selection underneath here, uh, and an over selection here. Okay, so and here. Okay, so you see where I've selected, and even now I can just go and select that little. And now I hit a Control J, and you can see what's happened here is that. All I've got are the roots and, and some of this. And I'm, and I'm not going to worry too much about that. But if you over selected, you could come here and just take away this just by erasing it with, a, with the eraser tool. OK. You notice I've over erased here just to show you that if I'm missing some of this, I could conceivably go here, okay, to the clone stamp tool, just grab a bit of the 
clone from here and just put it right there. See it? There. It's no big deal. Okay. Now, what am I going to do with these ribs? I'm going to want to bring a little bit of red into them. So I'm going to the brush. I'm going here to the color. And let's say that this color is about there. That's what I would want. Or maybe even a redder one than that and say, okay. Now, here's the, notice the size of the brush here. Okay. I can make it even larger because all I'm going to do here is I'm going to paint these roofs. But before I do that, before I do that, I go to layer two and I want to click right here, lock, lock transparent pixels. Now that means that I can do anything in here without painting anything. Okay, does that make sense? And I'm going to bring the opacity way down. And now what happens? See the red going on there? And here. Okay. Every time I pass through there, for example, I can make things a little bit redder. Right? But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it there, just as, as it is. Okay. Now, notice that the roof, the roofs are not any redder than they were before. Until I take layer one and move it under. And there you have it. So now we've added a little bit of red to, to the roof lines. Okay. Next, let's go back to layer one right now. That's where we're gonna we're gonna and just get rid of this for now. And what I want to do is to bring out some of this orange in the in this tree. It's not it's so here's the trick. Let's go to the magic wand and start by selecting, the, and don't have contiguous, and start by selecting the orange. Orange. And notice what's happening here. Start, and every time that I click by holding the shift key, it increases the color a little bit. Okay, so you see the orange here is now being increased. Okay, there we go. So every time you see a little bit of orange, you can click on it and it selects even more of that particular color. Okay, even here, for example. Great. So if you look now he, at, at this, and you say, okay, what do I want to do with that? Well, I want to make it a little bit more colorful than that than the orange that was on there, or you could use any color, for example. You can hit a control J. And now what you have on this layer is this. This is where the, the orange was, where the tree was. There's some other oranges everywhere, but that's not what you want. You want to select where the, th those little flowers or, or leaves on this tree. So, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to go and take some orange, this one here, for example, or even a little bit lighter. I'm going to say, okay. And now I'm going to go here to the brush, just like we had before. I'm going to lower this, this and I'm going to have the opacity just about there. Okay, and, and, and as a matter of fact, I can make that size of the brush even larger. And now watch what happens. Whoop! Here's a, uh, 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 what, I, what I was trying to avoid before was the fact that if you don't, if you don't lock the transparent pixels, it will color everything. So I'm do, what I'm going to do here is go edit, undo brush tool. It takes that. Now I'm going to this layer, layer three. And I'm going to lock the transparent pixels. All right. And now I'm going to go and just go over where I think the tree, the tree was. That's one. And then I'm going to go over it again. And I'm going to make it a little darker. Okay. 
and maybe just a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Now, when that's done, and I bring back that, you notice how the tree has now come out with, with a, a lot more orange in it, which now helps to bring out even more of the color. Now I notice, for example, that right in here is a little bit too dark for me. And I, I, in other words, very dark in this area and so on and so forth. So what I'd like to do is, is just to bring out more of the of the color green and, and, and make it like it would be much lighter. So here I'm going to the quick selection tool in this area, this area right here. Okay. And right there. I'm on layer one and I do a control J. And now I have a layer with only this area right here. So if I go to quick, if I go to quick now and I do exposure and I can increase that exposure right to there. No, not any more than that and say okay and go back to expert all right so as you can see now how much more light i have just in this particular area and that's it so we went from i'll do it just a revert quickly we went from that to this that's quite a difference